This conference will now be recorded. Ya Ali Madad to our friends. Hola Ali Madad. Hola Ali Madad. Hola Ali Madad. Ya Ali Madad. Alhamdulillah, we are back to our study of the book, Book of Healing. And we are on the chapter of Spiritual Science, Part 1. And today we will start uh, from one of the points. Ji, who is the reader today? Uh, Ji, me. Yali. So, Yali Madad, uh, we are reading yeah. the Book of Healing, Quranic Healing. Uh, chapter Spiritual uh, Science, Part 1. Uh, we'll be starting from point number 6, uh, ebook page 84. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Point 6. God the, God the Exalted, through His perfect power, has created for man an automatic world whose heavens Earth, sun, moon, stars, etc. work automatically. Scientists have made automatic machines in the light of this law of nature. From this example, it becomes easy to believe the wonders and marvels of spiritual science, that not only is the zikr of the angels automatic, but also at special times the successful Sufis and true Mu'mins experience the miracle of automatic zikr. This kind of automatic zikr adheres at the stage of Israel, Manzile Israel, Surah 48, uh, Ayat 26. Although this zikr belongs to Hazrat Israel, which is used for the, ex the experiment of dying before physical death of a pure-hearted Sufi, yet this same automatic zikr also belongs to that fortunate person in whose ear Hazrat Israel recites it. SubhanAllah, SubhanAllah. So, really amazing uh, paragraph Karim just read. It's mind-blowing that we are studying spiritual science. And when Allah Sahib writes this paragraph, he's giving us the example of scientists creating automatic machines. But the Lord, you know, our Imam, he is the supreme spiritual scientist. And it is so beautiful that we don't even realize that how the world actually works, the nature works for us automatically. When we go to bed, we do not think that sun is going to be you now rising. Sun comes out without we thinking, noticing, saying, acknowledging. It does its job, its function on auto basis. Night comes, you know, sun sets. Weathers come, you know, all these things in nature are actually happening automatically. And remember that verse which we had studied, chapter 41, verse 53, that all the signs in the universe and the signs within ourselves has indications, nishani for us, right? There are signs for us. And so what would be the sign for us? Okay, sun, moon, stars, it is there. We've been seeing it. But we don't happen to notice it until we are studying and we realize. But you know, on daily basis life, there are so many things which we use, which physical science has built and created, and we don't even realize the, the function of automaticity, you know, automatically happening. Let's take the example of micro, microwave. If we put our food in microwave, press a button or two, expectation is that the food which we kept inside cold it will come out warm as if you know when we think of this kalmai uh, bari uh, to be it became we as you know mere humans 
press a button, keep a cold food inside. Due to the physical signs, we will get a food which is nice and warm and ready to eat. Do we realize that we also are able to do things on the basis of automatic functions? How many times we do that, we don't even realize that this is a miracle we are witnessing. It's a miracle of a physical science. However, we are, we had discussed that already, that whatever we see in the physical world is actually a discovery of a spiritual science. And very beautifully, our attention is being drawn towards zikr. And we have been reading about zikr from the beginning. But the problem is, the way I just said, that the way when we put food in microwave, we don't even realize that it is an automatic function. There was a time we would have, you know, gas stove, which is very slow to warm up, to build the heat, takes time. Then we had electric, electric stove, it was quicker, faster. But then we have microwave, now we have air fryer. So science has been progressing and helping us to uh, get things done faster on an automatic basis. You do it and just, it just happened as if you gave a command and it happened. Can it also happen in our inner world, in our microcosm, in our, for our spirituality? Have we ever seen these things as signs for our own personal world? That is what we are learning. We do zikr. We remember Mola. But do we ever think that zikr can be that powerful that I say, Alhai, an imam would appear to me? I say, Ya Ali, an imam would be right there in front of me. Meaning my Ya Ali, saying of my Ya Ali is so powerful, so automatic, that it will bless those who are doing zikr automatically with the didar of imam. Do we have yakin, iman in it? Something again to reflect and think. Because if we do know that when we put food in microwave, 100% we are sure that the food is going to come warm. And that is why we choose to go to microwave, open the door and put the food in. Do we do zikr like that? Desire to remember him like that? that this zikr, Yadgiri, has that power that if I remember my mola, I will be blessed with the vidar. There is no doubt at all. Allah Sahib is saying that, you know, we do all know about angels, that angels do zikr automatically. They have no free will, they have no life, they just do zikr, zikr ibadah. That's their task, their function, their duty. So they do it automatically. But then those who are successful mu'mineen, those mu'mineen whose iman is mazboot, those mu'mineen who believe in the true knowledge, in the power of the name of the imam, for them, if they were to stay in remembrance and work hard, strive hard to make that zikr a jumpya ja, automatic. If they were to do that, they will also experience the miracle of automatic dida. It is happening automatically. So what a glad tiding for us. What a beautiful you know, concept for us. That now whenever we use any gadget in our lives, even our cell phone, I click and I hear you know, whoever I want to talk to, their voice. How did that happen? This person is far away from me. Anything we use automatically, as if we are giving the command and it is happening for us. Same is the potential in us when we do the zikr. Again, we have to meet the conditions. For example, when we took the example of microwave, it has to be plugged in, in the, in the socket. There should be connection with the electricity. When we talk of phone, there should be data or Wi-Fi connection there. Then only I can call. So if we are talking about zikr having the power of becoming automatic and due to that function of it becoming automatic, I say, Ya Ali, and I am with my mala. That is the way 
we need to think and that is exactly why we are studying this chapter spiritual science because it is possible for us to be able to achieve that now here uh, Allah Sahib mentions a Quranic verse so let's study that and in the light of that we discuss more this manzile israeli israeli uh, the stage of israel what is that and why and how is it related to automatic zikr so let's review this verse 48 by 26 do we have shamim anyone would like to read yeah, can i read by one yes please go ahead Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Surah 48, Ayah 26. While the unbelievers caught up in their hearts heat and can't and can't the heat and can't of ignorance. Sorry. While the unbelievers caught up in their hearts heat, can't the heat and can't the ignorance. Allah sent down his tranquility to his apostle and to the believers and made them stick close to the command of self-restraint and well were they entitled to it and worthy of it and Allah has full knowledge of all things. Shukran Allah. Allah. So let me just read in Urdu for those friends who understand Urdu. जबकि इन काफिरों ने अपने दिलों में हमियत को जगा दी और हमियत भी जाहिलियत की, तो अल्लाह ताला ने अपने रसूल पर और मोमिनों पर अपनी तरफ से तस्कीन नाज़िल फरमाए, और अल्लाह ताला ने मुसलमानों को तकवे की बात पर जमाए रखा और वो उसके अहल और ज़्यादा मुस्तहिक थे, और अल्लाह ताला हर चीज को discussing the second part of it that Allah sent down his tranquility upon his messenger upon the believers and imposed upon them the word of righteousness they were more deserving of it worthy of it and Allah is all knowing so if we were to look at the uh, transliteration we are looking for the word of righteousness and that is Kalimai Taqwa. We all had discussed in great detail what is Taqwa. Very interestingly, in this verse, it talks about Kalimai Taqwa, Kalimate Taqwa, meaning the way they have translated it says word of righteousness. So we all understand Kalima, word, Isma Azam, we have talked about it. But now, Taqwa has been added to this Kalima. So what is this Kalimate, Kalimate Taqwa? And Allah Sahib is explaining to us when the mu'min, uh, you know, when Allah sends the tranquility, tranquility, taskeen, sakina. This word also we had discussed in earlier chapter, sakina, right? That whenever mu'min is staying in yaddili, in remembrance, their hearts are actually sent this peace, this shanti, sakina. And especially those momini who walk on the path of taqwa. Remember, taqwa is the chief of ethics, according to Maulali. So whenever we have taqwa, meaning our deeds, our actions are pure, and it is combined with zikr of isma azam, because ilm and amal has to be both together. When we realize and implement on that concept, it is actually kalimai taqwa. Meaning this moment in Salik is pure, meaning his deeds or her deeds are pure. They are always staying in remembrance. They are refraining from sinning. All those characteristics which we do know, which comes under Taqwa. And then re remembrance of Isma Azam in such a way that it is automatic. Constant recitation of Isma Azam with purification of heart and deeds a moment in Saleh can get to Ajam Piyaja. When a moment is, reaches that level, Ajam Piyaja, at that time, a time comes when he or she goes through Manzile Israeli. What happens, 
through abundant focused zikr with giriya uzari israel seizes the soul now we are not talking about physical death the way we've been talking about that we are within us there is a world of particles and these particles are sleeping or dead or they are under the influence of carnal soul the function of azrat israel the angel of uh, death israel what he does he kills those souls or those particles or he gives us death a temporary death after that death we come back to life and this process keeps happening for a moment in sali again at the beginning at a very tiny small level and it can go as high as somebody going through their own kiamat the way we read about allama sahib going through kiamat so it is about dying why living we do know mutu qabla antamutu which is very high very far away but it can also happen darja ba darja simply by following taqwa remembrance and purification of deeds all that combined will help us become pure hearted momin and that momin will continue to die meaning what the carnal soul will die it will become weakened it will become transformed when the carnal soul will become weakened and transform into nafs e lawama remember nafs e amara reaches to or transforms into nafs e lawama that soul is called conscientious soul blaming soul soul from the imam which guides the moment and if a momin is salik is able to continue to go further then they get, get to the highest level of taskeen sakina peace and that is nafs e mutmaina the soul which is satisfied how are they satisfied because they travel from you know killing or recognizing the carnal soul so they suppressed it they transformed it to the uh, conscientious soul the soul which guides which is of imam and then from that extent they go further to become satisfied soul this majiza actually happens for a momin and salik who has yakin iman that remembrance zikr yaadgiri can take me to this level of fanayat becoming one with imam the issue is when we physically see microwave physically when we see our cell phone we trust that yes it will connect us it will warm the food because we are believers of what we see spirituality we cannot see so we need knowledge we need reminder our own reflection our own uh, khayal ka ghar right the world of imagination to remind to remember and then friendship of like minded friends who remind each other who help each other so we stay in remembrance and today we had two beautiful three beautiful friends doing that for us namin anila and zul who very beautifully reminded us that we can do zikr we can do giriya uzari we can remember imam in so many different ways always we can pick up any different way but remember him stay in yadgiri so if we become consistent in doing that what will happen for us we will reach to that level that our ism e azam will become so consistent that it will be it will become a jump ya ja that will take us to this ability the potential ability to transform the carnal soul to the conscientious soul आ बधु आप हाथ में आ ताकत अपना हाथ में खुदाए ताकत अपने दीधेली है कि आप मन ने मरी ने आगे सकी आटल ब्यूटिफुली समझा अपने के जिकरना ज अंदर बधुँ से यादगिरी अंदर बधु है इमाम सुत्ता मैं पोते फरमा कि यादगिरी राखवा काम घणु ज कठिन है केम के शैतान तारी पाचड़ लगेलो तो शैतान ने पाचे हटावा शू जो अपने एम थी याद करी जयरे एम में रही है 
તો યાદગીરીમાં આપણે મજા આવે યાદગીરીમાં રહેવાનું મન થાય દિલમાં ઉત્સાહ આવે અને જયારે આપણે એમ કરીએ તો પોતે પોત જે આપણું મન છે એ કમજોર કમજોર થતું જશે કેમ કે એને ખોરાક નહીં મળશે ખોરાક નહીં મળશે તો એ કમજોર થશે કમજોર થશે તો જે આપણી જે રૂ જે ઈમામના તરફથી છે જે આપણે અક્કલ આપે છે એ બહુ પાવરફુલ થશે જયારે એ પાવરફુલ થશે અને આપણે અક્કલથી પોતાની જિંદગીને વિતાવશું તો જે એમાં મિસાલ આપે છે કે પી સદર તેની અક્કલ સારી હતી કેમ કે તો પીર હતા અજંપિયા જા પેલા પાસે હતું તો આપણે બી આપણા પીર માય બાપના નક્શે કદમ ઉપર ચાલીએ તો આપણે પણ એવું ઓટોમેટિક જિક્ર કરી શકીએ કે આપણે કઈ થાય થઈ ગયું મલા તારા દીદાર જોઈએ અને થઈ ગયા કેવી આ વાત છે આપણા માટે આ પોસિબલ છે અને અહીંયા કહી છે એલામા સાહેબ કે જે લોકો ખુશકિસ્મત છે એ લોકો આ ચીજ કરી શકે છે તો ખુશકિસ્મતી કોઈ આપણે ખુશકિસ્મત બનાવતું નથી આપણું જે કિસ્મત છે ને આપણે પોતે બનાવી કેવી રીતે પોતે પોતાની અક્કલથી અમલ કરીને મને તો શેતાન કિસ્મત બનાવે છે એ આપણે બાજીમાં રાખીને કિસ્મત બનાવે છે તો આપણે પોતાની મરજીથી પોતે મહેનત કરીને આપણે આ ચીજમાં આગળ વધી શકીએ અને વી વિલ ગેટ સકીના પીસ એન્ડ કલમાતે તકવા વેરી ઇમ્પોર્ટન્ટ વર્ડ પ્લીઝ નોટ ઇટ ડાઉન ફોર્ટી એટ બાય ટ્વેન્ટી સિક્સ થેન્ક યુ જી કરીમ સાહેબ point number 7 <clears throat> when someone obeys god and his messenger completely and does abundant zikr as a result their inner senses wake up and they start to experience extraordinary things for instance they see the army of souls and hear its voice the astonishing thing is that everything has a soul take for example vegetation even if it is autumn the soul of every flower appears enriched with the wealth of its fragrance its fragrance never ceases nor does its color fade the amazing thing is that in the spiritual state specimens of fragrance of some trees and herbs of the jungle and the urban areas are made to smell by turns also the souls of many things come in the state of fragrance and provide energy to the body from this exercise of spirituality it appears that this poor person who was lying sick for a long time is now being treated and made to smell and also to eat various kinds of medicines however the specimen of feeding is very limited Subhanallah, Subhanallah. So, again, very beautiful paragraph. And it's clearly saying that if we were to be obedient, Obedience to Allah is as if obedience to Pagambar. And obedience to Pagambar is as if it's obedience to Imam. So, we are smiley, and we have living imam living guy chain of the light of imam same progeny and if we are farman bardar if we are truly obedient to imam and we do what is expected of us meaning kalmat e taqwa we follow the ethics as well as we have you know ilm o amal isme azam when we do that with utmost sincerity it is more than uh, possible you know how else do i say i do not know it is more than you know uh, possible that our inner senses our batni senses will open up and here a beautiful example is given that a mu'min and salik will be able to see things meaning their batni aankh will open up they will be able able to hear things extraordinary experiences strange miraculous experiences that mu'min salik will experience through his batni senses the way we were talking about that why do we trust that microwave will heat up our food because we see it ism azam can heat up 
our inner being, our inner senses. And that heat, that mood can help us open up our eyes, ears, and everything which is within us, the whole world. But just because we do not see it, we don't trust it. But it can very much happen for those mu'minin who are sincere, who are pure, and who are farmanguna. And very interestingly, you know, we don't understand this part. It says, astonishing thing is that everything has a soul. Every zikr we recite, every ilmi point we read, every book we are holding on our hands, either it is Quran or book of healing, has a soul. Everything has a soul. But the thing is that that soul is sleeping for us. Until unless we connect to that soul, it won't be awakened. So very important for us that we realize that everything has a soul and we do not see the soul. We have to believe, we have to have that faith and then work hard to be able to open up our Batni senses. And look at this example in the physical you know, world that when winter or autumn comes, you know, we don't see any flowers. You know, it's a fall season, there are no flowers, there are no fruits. Uh, so meaning they're all dead. They are not able to bear fruits. There is no flower. But as soon as spring comes, the same flower will grow. There will be the same color, same fragrance. So when it was winter, where did it disappear? Why didn't we see it? Where did it go? It was there. It was within that plant. But because it was winter, we could not witness it. Meaning, when we are not doing zikr ibadat, on our soul, it is as if it is in the weather of winter. We do not see, realize, sense the noon within our being. There is no heat being created. But as soon as we recite zikr, we take interest in knowledge, we start seeking, desiring, wanting this path, we will be able to see growth, fragrance, Everything which we desire, we will witness it. So interestingly, if we can see in the nature, the flower which completely disappears and plant may look like withered plant. But as soon as spring comes, oh my God, all these flowers are again blooming as if they had never left, they were there. As Momini, what weather we are keeping in our inner being? Is it the weather of winter or summer? Another beautiful example Alama Sahib is saying is that when we think of our spiritual self, our Nurani Badan, that Badan does not need physical food. That Badan needs food received from Batni senses, Batni food. And do you know Khushbu, fragrance is a Batni food. And very interestingly, Alama Sahib actually is giving his own example. When he was in China, when he was put in prison and he was not given food, he was fasting day and night, day and night, no water, no food for 40 days. How many days? 40 days. And I'm sure you all will remember, we have talked about talk less, eat less, sleep less. But can you imagine 40 days without a drop of water or food? But he did that. He has talked about it in very many books. So when he did that, he went through this miracle of Mutu Kabla Antamutu. And he also explains in, I think in book of Jamaat Khana, you read different books, he says that during that time of fasting, he was very hungry. So, but he was doing zikr, constant zikr, day and night zikr, remembrance and remembrance. So he hears the voice of an angel, Batni ears are open. Batni eyes are open. Angel says, you're hungry? Do you want me to bring food? And he says, yeah, I'm hungry. And he had this knowledge that he did not want physical food. He wanted spiritual food because he did not want to break his fast because he was getting spiritual light. So this angel asks him, what would you like? So he says that bring me uh, juniper flower. Juniper is a special uh, flower which grows in northern areas of Pakistan, the higher uh, mountainous area, immediately 
पलक झपकते एज इफ राईट नाव प्रेस द बटन इट हॅपन कमांड इट हॅपन इमिजिएटली अलामा साहेब राईट दॅट ही स्मेल द फ्रेगनेन्स ऑफ दॅट जुनिपर ट्री जुनिपर फ्लावर अँड ही फेल सॅटिस्फाईड नो मोर होम सिक नो मोर हंग्री दॅट इज द मिरेकल ऑफ आर सोल the inner world which we have if we were to realize the importance of piety taqwa zikr ibadat our body physical body needs food the soul gets weaker the more we stay connected to the physical world the carnal soul becomes more and more powerful that is why mu'minin live a different life they live a life of remembrance of becoming mindful in every action they become mindful so very interestingly uh, we learn that whenever we are physically sick we are given so many different medications and tablets to you know get ourselves treated similarly if we were to realize in the light of knowledge that how sick we are spiritually we are sick otherwise our bodily senses would be opened up because they are not open we can say that yes uh, there are sicknesses due to that whatever is within our being and we have not realized it is because of the spiritual diseases so when we heal ourselves with true knowledge all these medicines which are there in jungle or in you know urban areas wherever they are those fragrances which will rejuvenate our soul make us so powerful and strong to function normally in the physical world and elevate in the spiritual world it is very much possible for a mu'min asal ji point number 8 just as during the treatment of some physical diseases prevention is a compulsory and necessary condition Similarly in the days of spiritual treatment one has to eat very little normal food particularly in those days in which the spiritual patient is given subtle foods in the form of manifold fragrances moreover it is inappropriate to give importance to the usual eating and drinking of physical things while there is the the practical example of manan and and quails and the table of jesus maida ya isa before them however it can be said with mixed feelings of regret and happiness that this is one of the stations of the spiritual journey and leaving it behind the traveler has to advance more and more towards the final destination so now that's one the so we started to talk about this point as well that the way we live in the physical world and we believe in prevention is better than disease because we do not want to get sick we want to be healthy similarly same principle applies in our spiritual life as well that how do we prevent protect ourselves from sinning or forgetting the remembrance all that we have knowledge so i will not go into detail of that but very beautifully what we are learning in this chapter that the way our physical body needs food to have energy to function our spiritual body also needs the food it is nothing to do with the physical food it is nothing to do with eating and drinking in the physical world or the physical body in fact whenever you know um, we decide to go on a uh, what do you call it boot camp for example people go on boot camp and they would work out for hours you know drink healthy and no processed food or no meat whatever boot camp is offering people go week one week or month to kind of go into the state with their body to uh, detoxify themselves or purify themselves and during that time they will refrain from anything which would harm their body right this is a very physical example living in the physical world similarly when we set intentions hum niyat karte hain to heal ourselves or to um, prevent ourselves from falling into the spiritual diseases or healing ourselves if we already have disease whatever is anybody's state 
we learn that physical food is not important minimizing physical food will help us realize the importance of the spiritual food which in reality is in the form of fragrances you know how beautiful it is that in the physical world even when we talk of fragrances we cannot ever capture it as per se you cannot see it it is hidden we can just sense it we can just smell it due to that nature of fragrance it is actually spiritual food as well because it is hidden we cannot see it so similarly when we uh, are seeking spiritual progress through our intentions boot camp to purify ourselves to protect ourselves to heal ourselves we would refrain from eating as much as possible because it is the physical food which actually uh, keeps us in the physical things and very beautifully in the uh, time of hazrat isa alaihi salam his companion had asked him that if you are a true prophet you true messenger ask your lord to give us man and salwa and it is called table spread of jesus maida e isa dastarkhan e isa you know the whole uh, table spread was there and there were food which were coming from heavens and these people ate full tummy so majority of ahle zahir those who read the books with you know exoterically they think that oh jesus did this miracle as the isa alaihi salam did this miracle he said to allah send man and salwa and there was a food you know and meat and everything on the table spread and they all ate companions close companions of hazrat isa alaihi salam they all all ate full tummy but here we know that there is tabi it cannot be physical if physical food is eaten it's going to be done next next morning next evening again you know we need food it is nothing to do with the physical food those companions who were with hazrat isa alaihi salam they were pious and pure and they knew what they were asking they were asking about tawili food food for their soul and literally right now we can say that we are with this book the journey we are on this you know study of this book as if we are all sitting on a table eating food it is not a physical table it is not a physical food but we are in front of or we are having maida e isa meaning tawili ilm of our lord it is the mercy of maula that we are eating this beautiful food and that food is when we it goes in when we take it with full complete conviction and yakeen it starts healing preventing diseases and promoting our progress so alhamdulillah alhamdulillah uh, very interestingly anas sahib says that uh, it is with mixed feeling of regret and happiness that people don't realize what is happening why it is one of the station of spiritual journey and leaving it behind meaning that this table spread when people think of these things when food is mentioned in the quran that jannat will have you know beautiful food and what not whenever we read that we think oh it's all physical food meaning there's a disconnect with the spiritual journey spiritual knowledge spiritual food to promote ourselves and we stay connected to the physical journey physical food so it is helping us realize that there is a tawili ilm and when we eat tawi learn tawi what will happen as a mu'min salik as the traveler on this path we will advance more and more towards the final destination what is the final destination asal mein wasal but remember now we all know we do not want to die to be asal mein wasal we all want die while living asal mein wasal while living why would we wait to meet imam to have his didar when we are dead no we want this in physical life meaning we will work hard and meet conditions to become that salik so we can get the didar of imam in this physical world we can become one with imam in this physical world So, alhamdulillah uh, next point is very long navin sahab kya hukum hai jari rakhein ki stop kare hi ma ji 
इंटरनलाइज करना है ये बहुत बहुत अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह शुक्र अली अल्लाह बाबा इसके ऊपर रिफ्लेक्ट करना है मैम All right, okay. So, we stop kar sakte hain, ninth point ko. Uh, uh, I'm hoping that next sitting we have this chapter ko khatam kare. So, what we'll do, we will start reading this chapter, but we will uh, this paragraph because kuch baatein hum kar sakte hain jo asan hai, related hai, and then we'll continue. So, let's just read. Uh, we will not discuss the words. Ji kari. Point number nine. It is said by the sages of religion that without the help Taid, of the Holy Spirit, there is no spirituality. The Holy Spirit abides in the prophets and their special representatives, just as the sun is permanently in the heaven. It is obvious that where the luminous sun is always shining, the darkness of night cannot spread nor can the shadows of clouds be cast there. However, it is true that the earth passes through different states of light and darkness. Earth stands for the people of faith who in comparison to the Holy Spirit pass through different states like a day and night, sunshine and shade. But the wealth of experiences which is called knowledge and recognition is everlasting. An allusion is made to this in the verse Surah 58, Ayat 22, which you should study again and again in it by Biru Minhu, a special spirit from him, is meant the Holy Spirit, as Kawaja Hafiz has said. Fayaz, a Ruhul Kudus Arbaz Madat Farmayat Daya Digaran Digaran Ham Bik B Hunad Sorry Bik Kunad. You're really good, so it's okay, we can try, right? Bik Bik Kunad. Uh, Anchi Masiya Mikard. Wow, good. Uh, okay. If the grace of the Holy Spirit may help again, others will be able to do what the Messiah, i.e., Hazrat Isa, used to do. Thank you. So, uh, it is the next uh, uh, point which has so many Quranic verses. So, this is actually very simple. We have talked about it that. You know, when we talk of all this spiritual journey and we are saying, oh, we need to do zikr, we need to become pious and we need to, you know, purify our deeds. Me, 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 I, I, I. It doesn't happen like that. You remember what Mola says, struggle is man's duty, defeat or victory is in the hands of God. We do what we are expected to do, but it is only his taid, his help, his mercy. When that comes, then we will elevate. You remember the lesson of humility. We only do, we don't ask. When we do that, when we follow that path, which is the path of our Pagambar and Aliya, then the Ruhul Kuddus, the Holy Spirit, you know, when we talk of carnal soul, uh, then there is a rational soul. And after that is Holy Spirit, which is Ruhul Kuddus. That Holy Spirit actually comes within a moment's soul and it helps moment elevate. The way we see the physical sun always there helping this universe grow and live the life, not only growth and whatnot, but any action, every action, it's actually due to the sun. Similarly, in our Ruhaniyat, it is all about the sun and sun is Imam -e Zaman. There'll be no darkness of the night on a moment if that moment is in remembrance of the sun. Earth moves and we have night. Earth moves and we have day. A moment himself or herself decides when to move and when not to move. It is all about moment. So those who are people of faith, they seek 
Ruhul Kuddus, Holy Spirit, Imam. And when they continue to walk on this path, they pass through different Ruhani experiences. There are different states, different experiences, which continues to happen. And how will that happen? First, knowledge, then recognition, Shanakht of Imam, everlasting, everlasting. And then uh, in this verse, the word which is used here, we just need to know that word, which is Biruje Minha. Biruje Minha, and this is the Arabic here, um, here, Biruje Minha. Do you see that? This is the word which means Holy Spirit. This is a special spirit from him. It is a Holy Spirit, Ruhul Kuddus. And when that touches us, it is as if, you know, the way Hazrat Isa alayhi salam used to touch, you know, patients of leprosy and they will become healed and young, blind with eyes. All those majizat which people think that he did physically, the tawil is, it was all in Ruhaniyat. And this is a beautiful verse of Hafiz, Haja Hafiz. He says, Faiz Ruhul Kuddus, Arbaz Madat Farmayat, Di Garan Ham Bikunan, Aachi Masiha Mikarat. If the grace of the Holy Spirit may help again, again meaning the way it had helped uh, Isa alayhi salam, others will be able to do what the Masiha did, meaning we all, if we are truly walking on the path and we have the mercy of Imam touching our soul, we may also get that power to touch and heal people. Touch and heal people. How healing will come? What will they get? It is through the Taweel. Physical healing is not being talked about. Imam has very clearly said that I have not come to this world to be your physical doctor. Mullah says, Hum aapke ke doctor. So it is all about spiritual healing, spiritual promotion. Healing somebody who is as sick as someone in the physical world having leprosy. Meaning they are so much in the worldly sorrows and worldly things and controlled completely by the carnal soul. But when the knowledge, Tawili Elm touches their heart, they'll find happiness and they'll find healing. And that majiza is available to all. If this poet, Khaja Hafiz, can say that if the grace of Holy Spirit, you know, helps again, he can be, become like Isa. We are smileys. We are moments for Imam Bardar of Imam. We are in Khana Vadan of Imam. Do we think it is not possible? It is very much possible for us. What we are missing, what we are not reminding ourselves or remembering, the power we have. And how did we start? The first paragraph we started was to realize the importance of remembrance, zikr, yadgiri. If you believe, it will happen. Again, I do want to emphasize, next time when you put the food in microwave, look at, realize that physical science miracle, that you just by pressing the button, the food will get warm. Everything we do, in our physical life using machines. Similarly, we ourselves have that power of pressing the button in Rohani, Ya Ali, and it will happen. We are capable, our soul is capable. Mola's mercy is here with us. It is the taqwa part which is missing. So let us end here. And uh, I don't think there was a new learning as per se, but it is all about reflection and realization. And in this Quranic verse, which we learned, 58 by 22, Surah Mujadila. And in this, Birhuje Minha is actually alluded for Ruhul Kuddus. So we need to write it down, you know, highlight this verse, read this verse, underline this word, and write down the Tawil of this word is Ruhul Kuddus. So whenever we open up our Quran, we will know what exactly we are reading.
So Alhamdulillah, thank you, friends. I stop here. Ji Amin uh, Saiba. Niyama Saiba, you Jee. just now said that we are capable of all this remembrance and everything, but taqwa part is missing. Can you explain that? Why is that the taqwa part is missing? My dear, we have discussed the whole chapter on taqwa. Do you remember that? Yes. Good. So, so why we, are you saying that it's still missing? Even is the remembrance still missing? Uh, you are right, I would say. We do need to emphasize because you know what? I would say, Yasmin, probably you are at that level of taqwa. Probably I am Garib. I need to know. Or other friends who are here, they may need to be reminded. They may need to go back and listen to those lectures on taqwa, make a checklist and see that if we are fulfilling all the conditions of taqwa. If we are, nothing to worry about. If we have forgotten what is taqwa, I would highly recommend you to ask Naveen Saiba, uh, Kareem, to share those lectures with you so you can re-listen. It is a good idea to go back. And there were so many verses we did uh, in context of taqwa. Okay. Take out your yeah. notes and review those. You can I'll do that. Thank you, Yasmin. Subhanallah, Subhanallah, Subhanallah. I find it difficult to talk about it because you may say that it's no new learning, but it feels new. You know, the beautiful concept of fragrance and the beautiful example of microwave. You know, I think we all will be instantly now uh, realizing and keeping this example in mind. And, you know, we come online every day here. You know, with a click of button, we can see all of our friends and listen to all of this. You know, we have a whole computer in our in our palms at this point, you know? So it's like the amazing reminder of how Mala has always said that, you know, material science and spiritual science are not two different things. It is all connected. And we, you know, mere mortal beings, I think we are so much dependent on our physical senses that it is difficult for us to see these things. And inshallah, you know, as Yasmin Saiba said, you know, hopefully for, for a lot of friends, Taqwa is not missing, you know, and inshallah, they are witnessing all of these miracles and they probably need to pray for um, sinful people like us, you know, me, you know, pray for us because we all need to have these senses open so we can feel and the joy it brings to our hearts um, these examples, you know, it's a live world example and it just connects so much to us that, you know, I felt like you shouldn't stop, just continue to say, you know, because it is, it is just so connecting, right? Um, so, shukar alhamdulillah, shukar alhamdulillah, it is, you know, it's just, we're grateful for all of this uh, knowledge which you're sharing with us. So, um, you know, I mean, I mean, Friends, if you have any questions, any comments, um, you know, please come forward. I know friends are actually saying excellent session and yeah, you know, it is so over overwhelming to learn all of the knowledge, but inshallah, you know, with all of this, we, we are happy in our beings as well. I, I would like, yeah. uh, like how we said that microwave, like we, we kind of know now that, oh yes, the food will be so we have that iman in that, the belief that it's going to happen. Yes. When you say, Ya Ali, there has to be that iman for it to work. And that mm -hmm. is hard when we haven't experienced it yet. But like you said, you know, we can, if we have all the things that we should be doing, inshallah. Inshallah. But Niamat uh, Saiba, the Ginan also says, Nam leta, nami kupave. You know, one thing I would like to emphasize because I think Naveen said and Shamim, you also touched upon it. I think we need to remember because we talked about so many points, right? One way of putting ourselves into that situation, the way I gave you the example of boot camp, right? Very popular nowadays. People go for different boot camps. We with our own intention, can put ourselves into that kind of boot camp. 
and go for you know spiritual progress set an intention it could be as small as one hour of consistent zikr it could be one day it could be fasting of one day it could be three days i will do nothing but just do zikr i remember one of our friends she had set an intention to say salwar uh, hundred thousand times per day and i don't remember the exact um, calculation but when we calculated you know when you say salwar salwar is kind of long you know it's not just yaad it will take you know more than that and when we calculated the 24 hours with her intention of i think 100000 times i don't remember the exact it was way beyond the ability of to be able to do that much zikr in that much time so meaning she had put herself into a situation where she cannot sleep she cannot eat because you have to do zikr and she did that and guess what after 3 days she saw miracles so it is as evident as the way you said shamim ke yakeen when we put food in microwave and one minute is over and we open the door the food will be warm there is no doubt about it there is no doubt about it similarly if we are doing the zikr o ibadat ilm o amal giriya uzari if we are doing that there is no doubt there is no doubt so it is you know honest god truth that it will happen the change will come the transformation will happen batni senses will open up but it has to be you know um, that level of commitment that level of sincerity that level of desire that i want this for me i want food to be warmed up then only i will go to the microwave similarly when we are seeking that level of seriousness and when we do zikr in that way we are creating that power that electricity that heat within our being and when we create that heat within our being noor in our being it is impossible uh, not to have batni senses opened up it is impossible because that heat will warm up the food so it is so similar the example of microwave and you know i'm relating it back and forth but i hope you are keeping up with me following me that when we do zikr yali 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 the noor which is created where is that noor is going to go it's within us we have created it and mola's mercy is there because we will do it with humility we will not attach ourselves to the results if we are truly humble not greedy and you know very committed and sincere in our intention we will experience miracles 2 plus 2 will become 4 there is no doubt about it so there is an invitation for different intention ji nyamit saiba i was ji. thinking of this example of microwave with the naam leta bhaiya prem prakasha swaha tab upadya man vishwas hai gad gad leri prem ki uthe beautiful ignanic words is right that if you remember in the beginning how do you have yakeen you cannot have yakeen so you would remember him physically but physical remembrance recitation watching of our deeds everything which we do physically over the period of time consistently will make us closer to our soul we will have the journey inside us with soul and the way yasmin just said that uh, uh, bhaya prem prakasha we will have this uh, flow of love from our heart automatic love coming from inside automatic reminder to be saying and doing these zikr where is this coming from it is all coming from within us because there is a whole world within us it is our soul but we are blind to it so you are absolutely correct when we do consistent zikr ibadat physically the results the outcome we see spiritually in batin in nuraniyat thank you yasmi ji anila saba i just would like to add one comment is like when you do um 
intention to do zikr and when you're saying the zikr with your physical um, tongue but your mind is somewhere else it doesn't help either so your mind has to be very focused while you're doing zikr in order to get the the glad tidings for it to get the you know to see the effectiveness of it too so if you, we sit in a zikr then we need to also set an environment where we are just doing zikr no thoughts of worldly matters or anything comes in our mind and just would like to add that so shukar thank you beautiful addition so yes that principle applies in everything we do in ilm classes in zikr intentions if we are trying to do two things yahan bhi sunna hai wahan bhi sunna hai ye bhi karna hai wo bhi karna hai so we are not focused and when we are not chokas imam says the word gujarati mein chokas if we are not focused and committed it's not going to benefit because it is again lip service so yes you have our mind our heart all has to be connected one with it with what we are doing thank you nila for sharing that I have an example I thought of. Yeah. Uh, you know, when we go somewhere like in a plane, right? Blindly, we go sit in there. We haven't seen the pilot. And then we get to our destination. We're so high up, in there, right? We don't know how to fly. But we trust that pilot that we haven't even seen. And it's automatic for us, right? Yes. But yet, this whole universe is within us. And, you know, like... you start the car it starts right away you turn on your microwave start right away If only we could just remember how much we have within us and who's taking care of all of us even when we're in the flight right it's not us it's the pilot who is also a human being so i don't know just that thought came in my head so i just wanted to share so in the physical world physically having pilot and we having the ticket we have met the criteria to be there in that plane so when we meet the criteria physically we cross the distance in the plane with physical pilot similarly in spirituality we do not need any money to be spending right it's so easy it is actually uh, setting up an intention and going within our being within this world and yes imam is there is he the pilot is there always it is us not i would say unwilling to sit in that plane to take that right and for that right to take there are requirements and that is you know physically it is ticket here it is taqwa so yes beautiful connection beautiful example thank you for sharing jasmine shukran allah subhanallah subhanallah any other friends any comments barma ji ये सब सुनने के बाद है ना जैसे आप स्टार्टिंग में बोलते थे कि इलम इलम तो भी फिजिकली समझ में आती थी इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ इलम लेकिन जब ये सब का भी मैं सुन रही ना तो मुझे लगा कि अगर इलम ना हो ना तो ये सब चीजें नहीं समझ आती ना फोकस्ड हो सकते ना वो मोहब्बत होती ना वैसा जिक्र होता ना हम तकवा कर पाते क्योंकि हम समझते ही नहीं ये सब चीज लेकिन ये आज सच्चे दिल से समझ आ रहा कि ये लम से तो पहले तो हमको ये रिकॉग्निशन हुआ कि ये सब कैसे करना और अभी भी मुझे लगता है कि और दो साल के बाद लगेगा कि ये जो कर रहे थे ना अभी तो ये तो मतलब अभी इसमें और दर्द जाती दर्द जाते है लाइक इमाम बोलते ना कि तुम एक पायरी चढ़ी तो सोचो हजी तो हजारों पायरी अच्छी है तो बट दिस इज ऑल ब्यूटीफुल बाय बाय अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह शुक्र अली अल्लाह बाय बाय की तुम कुछ ऐसा नवीन सा लोग बोले ना कि बहुत हैप्पीनेस और यू नो बहुत ऐसा हो रहा कि मौला हमको ये सब बुद्धि दिए कि हम ये इलम में आए और मौला हमको ये हिम्मत दिए कि हम इसमें कंसिस्टेंसी रख सके ये उसकी रहमत के बगैर इम्पॉसिबल है तो ये जो जो लास्ट आप बोले ना कि उनकी मर्सी के बगैर तो कुछ हो ही नहीं सकता तो ऑलरेडी वी आर सो 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 ब्लेस माई माँ शुक्र शुक्र अली अल्लाह सबका बहुत बहुत थैंक यू माई माँ 
थैंक यू सो मच बस इतना ही बोलना था थैंक यू शुक्र वंडरफुल थैंक यू दिल तो नहीं चाहता कि आपको जाने दें बगैर वक्त का तकाजा है सो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट एड यू नो यू नो वन यू सेड दैट द रिक्वायरमेंट टू गेट ऑन दैट प्लेन वॉज टू गेट अ टिकट एंड गेट टू द फ्लाइट आई थिंक इट्स हाई टाइम वी ऑल हैव दिस इलमी टिकट इन आर हैंड इट इज हाई टाइम दैट वी स्टार्ट रनिंग सो वी कैन गेट ऑन दैट प्लेन एंड स्टार्ट फ्लाइंग आर सेल्फ so with with the help of your um you know all of these sessions and inshallah with lot of intentions friends are doing and all of these friends who are present here praying for each other uh you know inshallah we we all will be there with you <laughs> holding up your hand amen 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 thank you nyamat sahiba thank you friends yali madad thank you yali madad yali madad yali madad shukr shukr yali madad thank you shukr yali madad yali madad thank you so much arma yali madad ma yali madad yali madad thank you so much yali madad fatima yali madad yali madad